What's up, everybody? Ty Bartell and with another edition of Coach's Corner. This time we head to the east side of Youngstown, home of the Golden Bears with the boys basketball coach, LeVance Turnage, joining me today. My man, LeVance, how we doing, brother? I'm doing well. Just finished up practice. Yeah, get finish up practice. And I know, looking at your scrimmages, man, this team looks exciting in scrimmage season. So I'm excited cotton down today is the opening day. And I know you get, you have a lot of love and care for this program, and you put a lot of love and care into it. What have you seen right now? What stood out to you in, in practice and scrimmage season from this Golden Bears squad? Uh, just how we get better every day. Um, we come in and, like I said, I try to condition them as best as I can because the style of play that we play, the up and down, we need to be really conditioned. I'm trying to look for a couple more players to, to, to shoot us out where we can shove in a couple more players. But each and every day we're getting better uh, shooting, uh, conditioning, uh, defense. We're just trying to make our mark in, uh, in the conference and uh, for the season. I know that turnage dame is deep in basketball roots and you guys are really good in the coaching realm and the coaching world. When we talk about the players though, on this team, some of the big impact names and some of the guys that are going to be getting significant minutes for you this year, shout them out. What's the team look like? Who is going to be some of the, the guys that we're going to be needing to know the names of this year? Well, I, any given night, it can be anybody, but my six seniors, uh, Michael Franklin, Michael Brogdon, Kevin Pullins, uh, Darnell Wright, Jameer Calhoun, Aiden Kearns, and my junior and Tyrus Davis is also a football player. Um, these guys, they, they put in a lot of work, and I'm trying to find some younger guys to, to, to be attached to them and learn the way, the Golden Bear way, so that they can be ready and uh, can get some action this year. You guys are a tough nose team and you play in a tough nose conference. Though small, it is mighty in the Steel Valley Conference with teams like Cheney, Mooney, and Ursland. Ursland being a team that was in the Final Four just a year ago. When you talk about that, that competition in, in that conference, too, into the Youngstown City Conference, too, what's that conference competition like? How excited are you to test your boys against the conference this year? I'm eager. I'm ready. Uh I want to see where we stand against some of them guys, like the, the Cheneys and the Ursulines. I want to see where we stand so I can prepare my team the right way. So later on in the season, when we face other people, uh, we'll know what to expect and we have battled through adversity. Hopefully we come out and we win all of them, but, you know, that might not be true. But I just want our guys to come out and play hard and play to the best of their abilities each and every night. Every one of those coaches that you, you talked about, I actually coach with all of them. Yeah. Uh, coach Gunther, uh, Kerry Palermo, um, Marlon. I coach with all of them. So I know the type of style that they like, and it's, it's similar. Yeah. That's that's insane that you have experience with all of them, too. So you're at Steel Valley, as Steel Valley Conference can get, my man. Yes, I am. Though, because it is a small conference, it only takes up about six conference games for you guys. So it gives you flexibility to schedule in the non-conference. I see there's plenty of competition from plenty of other conferences that you guys feature in the non-conference schedule. What are some that you're excited about in particular, though, to test your guys against? Uh, like I said in another interview, I want to test against West Branch again. I got a sour taste in my mouth. Uh, <laughs> this year we have like North Ken Hoover. We have yeah. Brush. We have Glen Oak. We have Spire. We have Mashlin Jackson. Uh, we, uh, we're going to be tested well, pretty well, and we just need to, to see where, we, where we're going to land. Uh, win, lose, or draw, as long as you give your all, I'm going to be proud of you. I'm going to be proud of the guys. We talk about this team last year. It was a 12 and 10 team last year. You guys were a winning team. And I mean, you talk about the seniors you bring back and the leadership that you're going to have on this year. It's got to be an exciting time for you too. And a, and a pivot point. I know you you've highlighted why not East, right? So how do you guys, how do you guys exemplify that? How do you guys take that next step to it and pivot from that winning record, feeling good too, but not being satisfied going into this season? Never satisfied. Uh, 12 or 10. That was our best record since we've been here since yeah. i've been here for four years that's the best record we have and each and every year we progressed uh we got better um no different than this year hopefully we can win a couple playoff games that will solidify some of the some of the bad taste that we have in our mouth because last year when we lost to west branch we lost to them by three and we were we were in the game um so like you said we're right there we're knocking at the door we just gotta just run through the door we just gotta run through and 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 finish the job what are the strengths of this team that you uh, foresee happening this year too that you're going to play to to get your wins what's the team identity defense and running 
conditioning. We're gonna outrun, we're gonna outwork every team that we play. That's our motto. That's why I said, why not? Uh, most people don't think that uh, each can be disciplined. So we have to be disciplined, we have to be well conditioned, and we uh, we need to play together. That's what I'm trying to get these guys to understand. Every night, uh, you don't need – you can have a different story every night. You don't need to rely on one guy. We want to rely on each other because I, I tell the guys that we use this. I use the, the car model. Uh, the car doesn't move without the gas, the steering wheel, the pedals, it, the little things. If we can get past with the little things, we'll be okay. You talk about those little things. How do you guys make these guy make these high schoolers care about the little things? How do you guys connect with them to have pride in in the school, have pride in in being a golden bear, wear it on their sleeve, and, and represent that community night in and night out? So for me, I just stay on them. Uh, I'm on them about every little thing on purpose <laughs> because I want to see what they can take and what they can't take. My job is to figure out who can who can do what. And certain situations, uh, we all come from different places and we do different things. Families do different things. But when we're here, we're one. We're one unit. We are the East Golden Bears. And we just want to we just want to come out and let the conference and we want to let everybody that we play know that when you play us, it's going to be a hard nosed game each and every night. Building that name, building that identity back for the Golden Bears, and I love to see it too because I know that 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 community and a lot of people run deep in that East community too. There's a lot of alumni that are around. They love and they care about that community, no doubt. When you talk about your short-term and long-term goals of this season, short-term being from now until game one as we're rapidly counting down the days, long-term from now until the end of the regular season, what do you? what would you say the short-term and long-term goals are for you and this team? Short term goal is just to get ready. Uh, we actually play next week. We play on the it's, <laughs> it's, it's knocking. So uh, we got a couple of scrimmages coming up that we have to 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 see how we play against certain people and certain things. I set the the scrimmages up a certain way because I wanted to get ready for Marlington um, because I know they're in the conference of West Branch. So if they're anything like them, they 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 run their they run their plays and everything to a T. So for me, it's just I'm hard on them. I'm trying to be disciplined, more disciplined on them, because in the game, if you can do the little things like be disciplined, you can communicate, you can talk, you can talk your way through the games. Long term goes is I just I'm ready for the playoffs because, like I said earlier, these are certified scrimmages. The games, they, yeah. we just make we just make parents and family members pay and we just pay refs. And, and that's just it. But I like the the win or go home mentality. I like when you when you got to fight every night to to keep going. Um, I'm just that's my long term goal: get ready for the playoffs, win a couple playoff games, and see see where we stand. When you talk about that regular season and just getting ready for playoff time, what's the growth that you want to see key point from this team uh, throughout the regular season? I want to see them become one unit. That's what's going to get you over the hump from from the guys on the court to the end of the bench, to my coaching staff, to myself. We all have to be one unit. Nobody needs to see us break apart because when when they see that uh, most teams, they, they smell blood and they and they want to come in. They want to get you. So I'm trying to keep them together where we're just one unit. You talk about your coaching staff. I'm going to give you that opportunity. Give them a little bit of love, a little bit of spotlight. Who are other some some other big names in this East uh, Boys basketball program too that you deserve that you uh, want to highlight? Um, coach Dom uh, Dominico, he's the assistant head coach. Uh, we've been through a lot together. Uh, we've been playing together since high school. Uh, we've been coaching together since high school. When when I look for coaches and I look for guys, I look for I look for people like him. Uh, hard nose. Um, he gets after it. Um, it can be stern sometimes, but we do it out of love. Um, Coach Kyrie Gregory, this is his first year. Uh, so I threw him into the fire on purpose. I gave him – I let him be the JV coach just so he can get his feet wet. I, I do it so you can get a uh, good coaching experience because being a coach, it, it, it can be tough. And then I have uh, Justin Barnett. He's a phenomenal guy, man, uh, a minister. This guy works at Shelf, and he does it all. But when he can get the guys together and he can get them to understand, and he has great patience with the kids and to get them to understand. I love to hear that, too, and a bunch of guys, too, that, that care about the program and, and care about the kids, too. That's, that's the right mentality you want to have, no doubt. 
Coach, I, I've been asking a lot of coaches this question, sort of a theme question this year, too, for all of my head coaches. Uh, it goes to the lessons of the game. And I know you're a teacher of the sport of basketball. You teach a lot of young men about the sport of basketball, but also how it can relate to everyday life. Uh, but I want to know what the biggest lesson the sport of basketball taught you. Uh, the biggest lesson that basketball taught me was uh, cherish every moment because tomorrow isn't guaranteed. Um, I, I had a few injuries throughout my career. Uh, I tore my ACL. I broke my tibia. But the, the for the team to come around me and to still encourage me to keep going and to fight back through the recovery and things like that, basketball has taught me a lot. Like things come and go, but your friends and people that genu genuinely care about you will always be there. We look at this team this year and the way that you guys have continued to grow and continue to get better year in and year out. When we look at your your experience in the sport of basketball, too, and your experience as a head coach, what's something you feel like you've grown in most as a head coach from when you first started to now? Oh, man, that's a great question. I feel like I got better, like, drawing things on the board. Uh, me and, and Coach Chevish used to argue a lot about that. Like, you got to be able to draw on the board. You got to be able to draw on the board. And I used to be like, man, it's in my mind. I, I can't draw on the board. But I've been practicing. So I'm better at drawing plays on the board. I'm, uh, I love the game of basketball. I'm always watching basketball. When I go home, my kids, they sit down with me, and we watch basketball. I'm just – I'm grateful that God gave me the opportunity to, to coach basketball um, and to give back to what people gave me into these uh, young men that I have on the team. Be able to serve as an inspiration for some more young men in the sport of basketball. It's, it's one of the greatest jobs you could ask for, I think, Coach. Final question for you, my man, and it's actually a three-parter because the sport of basketball in the high school realm has so often in the state of Ohio started around Thanksgiving time. I need you to do one of three things for me. I need you to first shout out that first game. I know you mentioned Marlington. You're getting ready for that. But shout out that first game. Shout out to the East community. Let them know why they need to support this Golden Bears squad this year and come out and support you guys. And also shout out your favorite Thanksgiving Day dish. Okay. Our first game is November 29th. Versus Marlington at Marlington at seven o'clock. Um, my favorite meal, I'm gonna skip to that. My favorite meal is just chicken, macaroni, greens. It's still <laughs> good, normal. My, yeah. just, just whatever my wife cooks. Uh, and the last question was what? One more time. Shout out to the East community. Why do they need to get out there and support this team this year? Why do they need to pack the stands for you? Why not? Why not come pack out the stands? Why not come support these young men? They put in a lot of work and they deserve the support and love from this community. Well, they got a lot of support and love from us here at YSN, Coach. I'm looking forward to the basketball season. YSN's looking forward to getting out there and supporting the Golden Bears as well this year. In due time, we'll be catching each other out on the hardwood here real soon, my man. Yes, sir. Thank you. This has been a first edition of Coach's Corner with LaVance Turnage from the East Golden Bears Boys Basketball Program.